Hotspot. Well, this is Matt's Psycho Chef. Full whole chickens for Kimmy Sears. Well, if you look at the chicken, it's a five pounder. The instructions are to preheat the oven to 350, remove the giblets from the body cavity, coat the chicken with vegetable oil, melt the butter or margarine to preserve, prevent drying, season as desired, and then place the chicken breast side up in a roasting pan. That can be your roasting pan without the cover. You will put it in there, breast side up in a roasting pan, and bake for one hour and 45 minutes, and uh, you should be good. Channel temperature needs to reach at least 180 pasteurization. Before you get into it, let it stand for 10 minutes before coffee. So that is the traditional way. Our pans are often safe, just use it as a roasting pan. But we're going to do it on top of the stove today and see what happens. We're going to try to live delicious. We got some Frank's hot sauce, General Sal's sauce, sherry cucumber, apple cider vinegar, sofrito green and red, salsa green and red, banana peppers, roasted peppers, jalapeno slices, and some fresh. The more colors, the more healthy. Orange, yellow, green, onion, you know what I mean. Mushrooms, here we go. Again, in the pan! That's fine. We're gonna season our chicken with some black pepper, never hurt nobody. Paprika, what a freaking get kind. Pepper, chili powder, oregano, onion powder, sasson, and bitter orange adobo. I'll share my seasons with you, but if you tell anyone, I'll find you. I'll kill you. And I'll eat your dinner! 145, back in the dot spot, we've seasoned up our bed. We're starting to chop up our peppers. Our jalapenos, we're gonna keep the season for the spice, for the heat. And uh, we got our giblets for Dizzy later. And we've got our bag to cut the ribs, which is the white part of the inside of the pepper, the ribs. Adam's ribbon there. Um, I think our pan should be beating. Oh, happy bees, that's a happy pan. Let us put that bird in, breast side up. At 146, season her up and figure it out. There is a chance I might throw her in the oven at the last 20 minutes just to crisp her up, but we the delicious dot spot, 188885. 150. <coughs> We're gonna give that a little shake. See if she's root. And spin her over. She's brown in about five minutes. Now the captain should do song. Nice and brown, the way I like it. Captain Stanley chicken. We're going to brown her for another five minutes on that side. Flip her back over. Add some juices. Live delicious. No excuses. Come to me. 155 at the dot spot. <coughs> I'm dying because I had some jalapeno seeds, which are hot, hot, hot. Oh my gosh. So, we're going to see if she's loose. Let's flip her back over. Breast side. Oh. Alright, I've some trouble with one-handed bandit. And now we are going to add, no actually we're just going to cover it, wait till it whistles, and then add some veggies to the mix. It's covered, it is on a just below medium heat, when it whistles we'll add some veggies. Live delicious! Recycle Chef! 206 at the dot check. We got some stuff going on. Hot crushed peppers, banana peppers, jalapenos, green salsa, green zerito, red zerito, and stuff. Steam's coming out of here, so you can see it. We'll open that up. Apple cider vinegar, a little sherry. We're gonna dump our onions. So we might put some celery in there too, but I'm not really sure. All around. Now. That's a happy onion. We're gonna put our orange peppers, yellow peppers, and fresh jalapenos. Some have seeds, some don't. The seeds have the heat. So, we want a little heat, but not too much heat, because it's hot in the best spot. Put that all around. Might chop up some celery, and then uh, 
can add this to the mix. Oh yeah. We had to do it this way, folks, because I'm the one handed bandit. That's some uh, canned hot red peppers, some green salsa, green grasito, I can't say it, red sofrito, some banana pepper rings, and some jarred jalapenos. Just gonna mix that all around like that. Then, we are going to make our <laughs> full pan happy pan. Add that little bit of hot salsa we have left, organic salsa. Not even a teaspoon. Add a pack of portobello's. Get all around it. That's a happy mushroom. Because a full pan is a happy pan, and a full man is a happy man. Make your man happy. Cook happy. Be healthy. That's a good spot. And then we're just gonna cover that with some hot sauce. Bam, 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 bam. A little General Sal's. Bam, 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 bam. Sweet and sour never hurt nobody at the dot spot. Live delicious. We're gonna whistle and simmer for about an hour and 20 minutes. Peace. Kept it cooking. What I did. Space bump. You're steaming at 216, and you know what I mean. And I'm gonna push that valve, turn it, go to the stove and simmer it. Set the timer for it's 215 for an hour. And we will see you, and we will devour Chicklicious at the dot spot. Facebook.com slash number two. See you in a second. 338, and we're back. We've been closed valved on a basically a low flame, a little bit above a low flame. And uh, I don't really know what's going on, but we got a lot of stuff. So, let's see if the chicken separates from the bone. It's white the way we like to get it. Oh, actually. Yeah, we're good, Kenny. Give me Sears. Cook happy. Chicklicious. Space one. Hit us up. Say hello to Dinner for Duke. Psycho Chef. Happy cooking. <clears throat>